Hello, this is Anthea and this is a weekly oracle card reading for you for the week starting Monday the 19th of December and going through to Sunday, Christmas Day, the 25th of December. I've chosen the Healing with the Angels oracle cards today basically because I feel that they align with the energy of Christmas. They're very peaceful, they're very gentle cards and they're actually the first deck of cards that I ever bought which started me on my angel journey. Okay, and this is a rose for you for Christmas, so Merry Christmas everybody. And we'll just put our rose aside. So now shuffling the deck for as long as I feel I need to. The angels tell you when to stop. <coughs> Okay, that feels good. And I will pull three cards from the deck. The first card is for Monday and Tuesday, the second card for Wednesday and Thursday, and the third card for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the weekend. And I'll just put our lovely deck aside. So the first card for us, the message from our angels, is freedom. So with this card we've got a beautiful lady who's dancing, um, she's, she's uh, without constraints, she's free and all the Cupid angels are basically around her, cherubim I should say, they're cherubs and they're basically dancing around and celebrating her freedom with her. And as I tune into this card, the messages that I get from the angels are that at this time of year, it often feels like there's lots of things that we have to do. And we get very stressed out and busy. And basically, we need to remember that we're free at all times to choose and to change our mind about decisions. So if we choose something that doesn't work out right, we're free to choose again. So everybody has that ability, everybody is free. The next message for us from our angels for midweek next week is about balance. So we've got this beautiful angel here who's holding a sphere and there's two round spheres within the sphere that he's holding which are linked together. And I often see this particular angel as Archangel Michael in my mind. So this is basically reminding us that midweek next week that we need to maintain balance in our lives. So following on from our freedom card, we need to make sure that we balance work with play, that we basically include time doing what we love doing. We also need to make sure we rest and sleep enough and that we eat as well as we can and basically exercise as well. So it's really about maintaining balance um, in our busy lives. And moving on to the third card, which is the message for the weekend. And this is including Christmas Day. And the message from our angels is body care. So this, this reading is really giving us uh, clear messages about looking after ourselves and making sure that we're choosing and making the right decisions to, to nurture ourselves. So body care, um, basically this, this young angel has set down her arrows and she is hugging herself, she's protecting herself. It's really about care of our physical bodies. So this includes, again, having enough rest, sleep, exercise, eating well, all those physical body, body issues that we need to do, need to make sure that we do. So this, this reading for me is really about nurturing ourselves during this busy time and allowing for inner peace to flow as much as it can and for us to be quiet and enjoy the joy and peace 
of celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. So just as a summary, beginning of the week we may feel that we are doing things we have to do and don't particularly want to do but we need to remember that we have the freedom to make different decisions and to choose otherwise. Midweek is about balance, it's about balancing work and play, it might be Christmas parties and functions that you're going to. Um, Make sure you don't get too tired as much as possible. Exercise and also eating well. And then following on from this balance card, the body card, body care card, is really reinforcing this um, caring, taking care of our physical bodies. And by taking care of our physical bodies, we are actually looking after our spiritual selves, our higher selves as well. We're taking care of our intuition and looking after our spiritual gifts, which is really important. Okay, I wish you all a very safe and peaceful Christmas. And I look forward to the next reading and speaking with you again. But for now, lots of love and namaste.